All right, here we go. Big seven with a four digit dividend. And that's the number that we are dividing. All right, here we go. We have 6,812 divided by seven. I showed you two different ways that you'll commonly see this above. They both mean that we are dividing 600, or sorry, 6,812 by seven. I'm gonna set up my multiplication table off to the side and write my problem down where we're ready to get it worked on. And I will unpause when that is done. All right, I'm just finishing up my multiplication table and I wanted to give you a hint on what to do if you don't know all of your multiplication facts by heart. It's okay, some of us are still learning, totally fine. So I'm gonna start at 56 since that's the last one that I went to. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count up by seven each time. So I'm gonna start with 56 and then I'm gonna add seven. 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63. And I'm just counting up on my fingers. 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So that is a strategy of what you can do if you don't know all your multiplication tables off by heart. Obviously, seven times one, super easy. That's seven. Seven times two, hopefully by two, you'll be able to know that one too. And if you don't know anything after that, just start adding up by whatever you're multiplying by. All right, let's make our big seven off to the side. And we're actually dividing by seven this time. Great, here we go. Here's my dividend. And this time we are going to look at the thousands place and the hundreds place. We only want to, with the big seven, look at two digits at a time. So we're looking at 68. Now I'm gonna go over to my multiplication table over here and I'm gonna start at seven and I'm gonna work my way down looking for a number that is close to 68 without going over it. So I see 63. When I look down here one further, that's 70, 70 too large. So I know that I wanna use 63. Now, here's the little trick is that we don't want the six and the three to be in the tens place and the ones place. We want the six to be in the thousands place. I need to ask to myself, how many digits do I need that six to move over in order for it to be in the right place to subtract? So I want my six to be in the thousands place and my three to be in the hundreds place. In order to do that, I'm gonna need two zeros on the back end of that number. And if I need two zeros on 6,000, or to make it 6,300, I need to add two zeros to my nine so that I'm multiplying by the right number to get the that six and three in the right uh, digit value. So now I'm gonna say seven times 900. 7 times 900 is 6,300, and now I'm going to subtract. 0 from 2 is 2, 0 from 1 is 1, when I take 3 away from 8, that is 5. Great, now I have 512. I'm going to go back, I'm going to do the same steps. I'm going to look at the hundreds place this time and the ones place. I wanna get a number that is close to 51 without going over it. I'm gonna go back to my multiplication table. I'm gonna start at the top. I wanna to go to a number that's close to 51 without going over it. That's gonna be 49. But I don't want the four in the tens place. I want it to be in the hundreds place. I'm gonna add a zero to that number to make it 420 which means I need to add a zero to the factor that I'm multiplying by. So seven times 60 equals 420. Now I'm gonna subtract. Zero from two is two. Uh-oh, I see there's more on the floor. I need to go next door. Make that into a four, add my group of 100. Now, if I take 2 away from 11, that is 9. And I'm going to return 
to my multiplication table. This time I'm trying to get closest to 90. I'm going to go down all the way to 70. This time, I do actually want the 7 to be in the tens place, so we're not going to add any zeros. We don't need to move anything around. I'm going to multiply 7 times 10. 7 times 10 is 70. And subtract. 0 from 2 is 2. 7 from 9 is also 2. And it looks like we can only do this one more time. We're trying to get closest to 22 without going over. I'm going to go down, and that's 21. So again, we want our 2 to be in the tens place. We want our 1 to be in the ones place exactly the way it is. That means I will multiply 7. That is the wrong color. I'm going to multiply 7 times 3. And 7 times 3 is 21. Oh, that should have been pink. I'm going to do it, even though it's my last step. 21. We're going to subtract. There's one left, or a remainder one. So we want to make sure we don't forget about that remainder one. I'm going to circle it. Now I'm circling all of the factors that we multiplied by 7. When I add up all of those factors that we multiplied by 7, that will tell me the quotient, or the answer, to this problem. I often don't like to stack and add this many numbers all at the same time, but because there's so many zeros, I feel more comfortable doing it. If there are more numbers, I would not, and I would do it in two different groups. Here, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 3, 6 plus 1 plus 0, and 9 plus a bunch of invisible zeros. So 9,000, or sorry, 973, put that up here, 973, and we want to make sure that we don't forget our little remainder, remainder 1. So we just found out that when we divide 600, 6,812 by 7, we get 973 remainder 1. So here was our big 7. This time, multiply or dividing a four digit dividend by a single digit divisor. Ta da!